from when a donation arrives, the clock is ticking. The Toyota production system has been the core of what's enabled us to make some of the world's best vehicles. The philosophy of TPS basically customer first, people are our most valuable resource, uh, continuous improvement with a shop floor focus. Through this project, we're helping all Canadians through the improvement of the Canadian blood supply chain. The beauty of TPS is that it can apply in any process. We were struggling in here and we didn't know how to fix it because most of us have a clinical background. So they could actually observe our processes and highlight where we could be losing opportunity to actually be adding value to the product. Part of our role here is to help share some of our ideas on problem solving. To do that, we roll our sleeves up and uh, get our hands dirty to help them fix problems. There can be no Kaizen without first having a standard, having a baseline. It was amazing to see how quickly they could see something that needed to be worked on and how quickly they actually started to put things together to help us out. I'd say the biggest legacy that we're, we're keeping from the, the whole engagement is around the concept of solving problems by first breaking it down. One of the first areas that we focused on was in distribution. So that's basically where blood gets packed and boxed and goes out to different hospitals. When we originally got there, they had a very big room and they had used almost every corner of the room. We always like to think of, of work as a, as a nice tight circle, as a work circle where we can start, do work along the circle, and then finish up right beside where we start. Everything is right in that little area so it make it easier and faster for you to get an order done. Sometimes the team member had to go in the freezer to pick their product. If a team member felt rushed or was feeling behind, they wouldn't put their park on. It was really cold, but now, because things are in the right location, you can get out there in a couple of seconds. One of our products, which is platelets, has a shelf life of only five days. Because of that criticality and the platelets, we started looking at the platelet process. If we can extract any number of hours in the production process, we could potentially get that product to the hospital sooner. The hospital will enjoy a longer shelf life. The approach was very similar to the phase one in distribution, in which we actually determined the optimal method to standardize that process so that we can make abnormalities visible. We've tried to do as much as we can to simplify the team members' work. But most importantly, what we've allowed is more time to do the jobs. It's easy to figure out how even small differences can actually make a huge impact. Toyota has been able to transfer knowledge into some key positions here within Canadian Blood Services. We take that knowledge and build a program that is self-sustaining across the Canadian Blood Services network. Every uh, part of the chain is important. Right from the time that you donate, there's linkage all the way through the production system. I had never given blood. So do you have some kind of numbing cream or something? <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought. I have this little phobia of needles and I had to overcome it. It was worth it to know that you know, it was part of, the, part of the system. I don't know where that blood will go, but I know that it's gonna help somebody in the long run. I got a slice of pizza afterwards, so. It was all good. The Toyota crew has become almost like part of our family. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't hear John's voice or I can hear something that he might say if he were here. That's pretty good that Toyota took the time out to help because it makes us realize that we can change. I wasn't aware that Toyota actually does something like this where they actually give back to the community. What better way than to give back to Canadian Blood Services? At the end of the day, we're, we're saving the patient's life.